today we're going to start digging on the little deer pond that we're going to put back here um, a lot of recommendations on improving your property digging out putting it a pond so we have a pond liner uh, it is hot so I'm gonna head out here and I'm gonna do as much as I can as long as I can and then we'll kind of see where we get work on it a couple days at a time and hopefully we can get it in but I don't know if my camera mount's gonna stay, but I'll try and give you a ride and we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> Not even two seconds, but here we go. There's the setup, didn't work. out a few different spots that I was gonna put this pond here is one so back there beyond them trees that's where the shooting range is and if we spin around over here uh, right in there is the food plot so you see that nice green in there that up in there just past that pink ribbon all up in there that's a food plot so I mean 50 yards 75 yards off the food plot looked like there was a turkey up in there for a second something maybe my imagination it runs wild um, but anyways so like I said uh, had plans to put in this little watering hole here and I wanted it access just off the trail so that I could get to it and you know fill it if needed it's a 90 gallon pond so it's decent size it was for free so I think I think this is where we're gonna put it put you around trail Let's zoom in. As the trail comes up through here goes up around that corner that way up that way so I mean right here in this little open spot I figure that'll pull the deer pull the deer at least up this way towards the house side of the property to kind of give more movement in here because right now the deer want to go just through the edge of the food plot and uh, not come up any further 
I do think something is moving around over there in that food plot. Walk over there and see. Oh, it's a it's a squirrel on top of a stump. So we top cut some of the trees in there and left them. But I didn't want my imagination. I ain't that crazy. But anyways, so I think this is where we're going to start. Is that rain? But um, I'm going to set up the tripod. We'll do a little of a time lapse of you see me struggle and sweating and almost dying. And uh, we'll go from there. dig too big of a hole because I want it to be kind of snug. I know it'll seat down, but also trying to figure out the best, best position. If a deer comes up in here, it's probably going to stand this way, stand long ways. And my stand is right over there, so... I don't want the butt facing me. I think I'll probably do it. something like this. Do it long ways. The ground don't feel too hard, which is kind of nice. It did just rain a couple days ago, or yesterday. So we had quite a bit of rain. This is what we're going to do. This is the spot. Kick it a little, a little sideways. Yeah, if it's like this, the deer's going to stand here. Shot this way. Yep. I think that'll work. We'll go with. Like that. Get my handy dandy marker out. Got that guy marked out. I'm gonna back the four wheeler trailer in here so I can load up because we got some holes up there on the trail that we want to fill with the dirt that comes out of here. And uh, I'll check back in.
Well, this is a lot tougher than I thought. There is a ton of roots holding this joker together. The ground's soft, but it's held together. But the good Lord will provide. Give me a little rain, a little cool down. You see here it's raining on the wagon. Well, I'm not going to bore you with watching me dig for eight days straight to get this hole in the ground. I'll just kind of flash in every once in a while and show you what it looks like. Well, I obviously ain't working fast enough because the good Lord will be uh, ready to fill the pond. Oh, Christy's calling. I have to find out, make sure I'm okay. Let me get back with you. Well, I don't know if I got that or not, but Christy was calling because it started downpouring. She's like, are you okay? Uh, I guess I ain't moving fast enough for the good Lord. He's ready to fill her. I ain't even got it in the ground yet. These are big old raindrops. So we can, uh, we can turn the rain down, the sprinkler down a little bit. I'm nice and cool now. All right, I'm going to keep going until it's downpouring. All right. Still at it. I got one full wagon load and a hole. It's getting there. We're gonna go dump this. I got a couple low spots on the trail that I want to fill in. Probably would be best to fill it in with gravel, but use what you got. Uh, on the bright side, it's nice and cool. So get to it. Alrighty. So we're at the hole watering hole here give it a little dump Kersh splash all right I'm gonna put you up get all this out of there and off we go well there she is in all her glory we got the hole dug got her in I am drenched to the bone exhausted there's only two of these wagons full. This is the second wagon. I already dumped the first one. So, what I'm going to do is backfill down there where there's a gap where I overdug. Kind of level it out a little bit more. And then, uh, call it a day. Go inside and relax in the cool. Because um, now that the rain has stopped, it is getting a little steamy again. So, Hurry up, get this done, and then uh, wrap it up with you. Alrighty, well here she is. You can see I intentionally left a little bit of dirt high around the edges here. That way you can pack down, settle in next to that form, because uh, you have to dig it out a little further than what you need it. And then hopefully that'll settle back in. Got a little bit of extra. I call it dirt, but it ain't dirt. It's clay. This is uh, this is kind of. Horrible and good at the same time. It was super easy, uh, but it packs down and it's heavy. But it sliced nice and fine. All right, I'll take this wagon load. I'm gonna go dump it down there in the hole, and uh, this will finish it up for today. I'll let uh, nature do its thing and fill it in. I'll check in on it. Um, I got a stick. I'm gonna bring back in here and put in there just in case something small falls in. It can crawl out. I don't want nothing dying in there. It's stinking. But mosquitoes are coming out. It's getting hot. So this will be the end of this quick little video of sweat labor with Virginia Buck Wild. Um, all right. Say goodbye, girls. Bye. Just kidding. They're inside hiding. I wouldn't subject them, anyone to this. Uh, but till next time, catch you then.